In this tutorial, now we will discuss about the magnetic lasso tool. So let's move forward and discuss magnetic lasso tool. Magnetic lasso tool is again a type of lasso tool. To select this, we have to click the shift plus L. So we're going to move through the various lasso options. So like we just discussed, we have the lasso tool, the polygon lasso tool, and now the last one, the magnetic lasso tool. Magnetic lasso tool is the edge detection tool. It basically search for the edges. So while you are moving around the selection, it's basically searching for the edges and it sticks to those edges like a magnet. So if you have images which has a deep contrast, for instance, somebody standing at a plain background, magnetic tool will help you to create selection and you can even achieve transparent images through this tool. So let's move into Photoshop and learn about this amazing tool. Let's start. So let's begin with the magnetic lasso tool, which is just under the lasso tool and the polygonal lasso tool. So here we find the magnetic lasso tool and you select it. You can also do shift L and it's going to go inside. So you have a magnet attached on the side as you can see now so magnetic lasso is basically an edge detection tool it actively search for the edges of the object as you're moving around it it snaps the selection outline to the edge and clings to it like a magnet so I'm just gonna quickly show what I mean so it's basically if you see is looking for edges and it's actually going so it's actually I have my mouse clicked and I am going slowly so magnetic lasso helps me better when I have a stark difference between my object and its background. So I'm moving and moving slowly before I create the selection. So remember you have your mouse or your touchpad. So I'm pressing my touchpad continuously. I'm not left it. And I am going slowly around this object. And I have a good difference between so it is better if you are slow and don't worry if you've actually uh, left out or you've gone inside we have options of adding into the selection like we have in the marquee tool so any error made can be corrected so don't just leave your that you made an error and leave in between continue and we have the option in Photoshop to correct your selection but I've been quite precise I feel and I leave it and I have this wonderful selection over here I can see I have left that ear so I can come here in my optional panel and I can just click on the ear and the ears will also just make a line here from here and those ears will also get selected and also we can uh, increase the feather radius if you do not want a very crisp edge we want some smooth edges we can increase increase the feather size here also we can increase the contrast so basically the contrast will help me to the contrast will actually help me change if I increase the contrast in my brightness and you know it will help me take out the use low edge contrast values for areas where the color or the brightness value of the object and background are similar same way you can use the higher edge color when there is basically are very different than the background and the subject so here we are and I can always use it and place it wherever I want so I can take this and place it here so it, it gives me um, beautiful options let me just go and do that once again it did not happen that time I'm gonna do control C bring on some other layers so I have to be in the background layer and control V so and let me bring it forward so so I have this on the top I can also do control T lower this and just place it though it does not look nice let me hide this woman from here if that makes a difference so I can go here okay I need to actually approve my transformation before I go ahead and I can hide this and I can just have him do control to come to this layer do control T again make it inside and I can even have this man here in the billboard and I can just select it using my magnetic tool so it's super cool to use magnetic lasso and it basically sticks like a magnet with the distinct edges so stay tuned for further tutorials on tutorial point